Hello guys, welcome back. My name's Nathan and today I'm going to be ranking my top 10 best NHL players so far this season, December edition. Now a couple weeks back I made a video ranking my top 10 best players in the NHL so far this season. You guys enjoyed it, most of you guys did and I enjoy making it quite a bit. So I thought we might as well make this a monthly series. And if you guys still enjoy it, then I'll keep making them for sure. But for today's video and for the December ranking of the best NHL players, which players do I see as the best so far this season and which players make my top 10? Watch till the end for all my opinions and rankings. Now, we're going to waste zero time getting into this. We're going to jump straight into my top 10, and there's been some pretty big movement, especially compared to just a few weeks back, and it's evident in my number 10 pick, that being Connor Hellebuck of the Winnipeg Jets. In my opinion, the best goaltender so far this NHL season, currently with the Jets at age 26, good old American kid, Connor Hellebuck has been putting up insane numbers, and when you look at Winnipeg's defense, Connor Hellebuck has no business being this good. Now currently for Hellebuck's first 22 games of the season, he's sitting at a 2.17 goals against average and a .934 save percentage. Just looking at his freaking goal saved above average, he is first in the NHL right now with a plus 16.13, which is absolutely amazing. And again, with the stats that he's able to put up, with the defense that Winnipeg has, it's kind of insane. Because you have guys like Tucker Pullman, and Dahlstrom, and Lucas Spiza. I really didn't expect him to be all that great. I thought maybe 2018 was a little bit of a fluke from him, but it just seems like these even years are just Connor Hellebuck's years. Which, for Winnipeg, they'll definitely take. Now getting into my ninth best player so far this season, going to go into the only defenseman, that being John Carlson of the Washington Capitals. Now John Carlson, I think was number 10 in my last ranking video, he's up to number 9 in this one, and also because I think he's been a little bit better defensively, a lot more tidy in his own zone, especially in the Capitals winning streak, but overall he's still been, in my opinion, one of, if not the best defenseman this season. Obviously, you have so many different weapons to choose from, that's why he's getting a ton of points, but he still has been super impressive. And yes, his teammates are 100% a factor, but he also isn't as heavily reliant on the power play as he was to start out the year. He has 28 even strength points compared to 12 power play points, and that is something to factor in. Overall, he's been an offensive beast, and that's the thing, is because I like rewarding defensemen that have that strong two-way game, but John Carlson has been just so dominant in the offensive zone that he gets a nod for me. Now, on the topic of rising players, we're now going to get a player that's debuting in the top 10 for my December edition, and now going to get into Buffalo Sabres' own at number 8, Jack Eichel. Center, good old American at age 23. Jack Eichel started out the season strong, yes, but he wasn't too big on my top 10 radar. But in the past couple of weeks, Jack Eichel has been one of, if not the best NHL player. Now in 28 games, Jack Eichel has gotten 17 goals, 21 assists for 38 points so far. And a lot of those points have come in the last month, again, being one of the best players of the last month. And when it comes to the Buffalo Sabres, they have some excellent offensive options, but Jack Eichel is really the guy leading that team, especially when it comes to pure offense generation. He is a beast in that department and has been throughout the whole season. Currently is seventh in points scored across the entire NHL, and the Buffalo Sabres somehow find themselves third in the Atlantic. After they were first in the Atlantic, they dropped all the way down, and now they're back somehow, pretty much only because of Jack Eichel at this point. You know, Buffalo, you could also actually make the playoffs. That'd be pretty fantastic, too. Uh, but, you know, you might actually do it this year. <laughs> Buffalo <laughs> making the playoffs. Unless, um, no, no, no. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Unless. No, no, it, it's not happening. But, come on. We're just going to move on because we know Buffalo ain't making the playoffs. On to my number seven best NHL player so far this season. I'm now going to go with the Swedish stud for the Vancouver Canucks, Elias Patterson. Now, in 29 games so far this season with Vancouver, Elias has gotten 12 goals, 20 assists for so far 32 points, good for 11th in NHL scoring. And Elias Patterson has also been very good defensively. In my award picks just a few weeks back, 
I had him as my Selkie guy because he really was a noticeable guy too defensively in all the right ways, and the advanced stats showed a lot of good in his head. But as an overall player, I think he's been one of the best out there. For Vancouver, has been their team MVP, and for a team that's been pretty much the opposite of consistent, Elias Pedersen has been consistently amazing this season, and it goes almost every single night. Now, going from my number seven, Elias Pedersen, to my number six pick, that being captain of the Florida Panthers, Alexander Barkov. Gonna give some credit to Barkov this season because, once again, he doesn't get enough of it, but when it comes to Barkov, he's having another fantastic season as well. For Florida, he's been brilliant. The defense has been good, but the offense has been even better. Now, in 27 games of Florida this season, Barkov has gotten 9 goals, 23 assists for 32 points. Good for 12 overall in scoring, right behind Elias Pedersen. But just when it comes to Barkov this season, not even just the points, he has been dynamic. And offensively, I kind of expected this kind of output from him. I think I had him like 4th or 5th in Art Ross predictions before this season, I saw him being up there for sure. And while he hasn't been top five in scoring, I think he almost deserves to be. For how much pure offense skill he's bringing for Florida, he's been simply amazing. And when you have the defensive game that Barkov has and the offensive game on top of it, he's been one of the most valuable players, not just for Florida, but in the league this season. Now, speaking of valuable, we're now going to get into the big, amazing duo for the Boston Bruins, Brad Marchand and David Pasternak. Now, a few weeks back, I had David Pasternak at number five, and I had Brad Marchand at number four. Well, a couple weeks later, things have changed just a bit. For my fifth best player so far this season, I'm going to go with Brad Marchand here. Of course, the left wing rat himself, currently at age 31, having his best season of his career. He has been simply fantastic for Boston, and I wish I could put him higher, but David Pashnak also exists too. Now, I was about to open my mouth and I was about to record this clip until somebody out there in that freaking driveway had their freaking car alarm on. I don't know what it is. I guess they don't want me to talk about Brad Marchand. I mean, he has history with a lot of different people, but I guess it's a small world, bro. Either way, Marchand in 28 games has gotten 18 goals, 26 assists for 44 points. And we'll see with Pasternak. He can sometimes be a little bit inconsistent, but Brad Marchand has been consistently elite throughout this whole season, on his game every single night, and with Boston, they're already at 20 wins, they're sitting atop the league in points, and Brad Marchand has had a, been a huge reason why, and has been a big part of it. Alright, getting into number four, and on to Brad Marchand's teammate in Boston, let's just hope somebody doesn't have a problem with me talking about him. David Pashanak. In 28 games, he's gotten 25 goals, 18 assists for 43 points. And if you didn't think he was good at hockey, well, then you have this season. Thankfully, David Pashanak is fully healthy, fully ready to go. And I've always loved Pasta, one of the best stories in the NHL. Going from a kid that was scraping by, pretty much had nothing in the Czech Republic, to a guy who's making millions in the NHL. It's funny that his contract is a steal, but he's still getting paid like a millionaire as he should because he's one of the best players on the planet right now and has been playing like it. And again, that full healthy season is going to be huge because I remember I made like a bold prediction video before this season saying that one of my bold predictions was he reached 100 points. Looking back on it, I don't know how I thought that'd be a bold take, but here we are. Okay, this is kind of getting a little bit ridiculous. There's a freaking tornado siren out there, bro. There's a friggin' tornado siren. I know it's not a tornado. It's probably like a test tornado siren, but they just don't want me to talk about Bruins players. Especially Pasternak, dude. This is just crossing the line. Okay, now that we're off the topic of Boston Bruins players, Mother Nature, so freaking help me. We're now going to get into my number three pick, my third best player in the NHL so far this season, and possibly the guy that might win the MVP and probably rightfully deserved, that being Nathan McKinnon of the Colorado Avalanche. Now, this spot does not change. I had McKinnon number three in my ranking a few weeks back, and I also have him number three in this one. But Nathan McKinnon, as usual, has been freaking unbelievable. Now, in 26 games, Nathan has gotten 17 goals, 
25 assists for 42 points. And I'm going to say McKinnon Rock in that amazing, the best first name of all time, is also a very good hockey player, just like even Pashnak. I know, it is crazy. And Nathan McKinnon has almost been better without Rance and Atlantiscog. It's like he went to another gear when those guys were off the ice. And now if those guys are coming back, I'm not sure if he'll play will diminish, but the points will likely increase as well. And when you have all that firepower gone, and when you get even better, McKinnon has just been simply amazing as advertised. And if he should be at least in a conversation for the MVP at the very least. And if he did win the Hart Trophy by the end of the year, nobody on this planet Earth should be surprised. Now, going into the top two for my ranking for today. And for my video a few weeks back, I have Leon Draisaitl number two and Conor McDavid number one. But I wasn't saying that it was not a close race because it certainly was. And even now, it is still a pretty big race. But to me, Conor McDavid has been one of the best players, if not the best player in November, and it's continuing that on in December. So that meaning that Dreisaitl right now would stick at number two, but he still has been the second best player in the league so far, and that is not bad whatsoever. In 29 games with the Edmonton Oilers, he has been pretty good at hockey as well, getting 18 goals, 32 assists, for 50 points already. I mean, the guy is on pace to get what, like 120 or like 125 points this year? Yeah, just, just replicate Nikita Kucherov. We might as well just go for it. Why not? And the amazing story of Drysaddle continues. The German kid, absolutely amazing. And again, there is still a pretty big argument to say that he is number one. But to me, Connor McDavid still is the guy. But we shouldn't take anything away from Leon Drysaddle, who leaves the NHL at even strength points and still has been the second best player in the league. And then we go on to the number one, the best player in the NHL so far this season. And I know, it's super surprising. I couldn't believe it either. But number one, yes, is in fact Louis Erickson. You know, he just scored that goal the other night. He has been absolutely on fire. Canucks fans don't give him enough credit for being simply the best player on that team. Number one, I think, is fitting for Louis. You know, he's had a great time. I can't keep this any longer. <laughs> I can't do this. Yeah, it is Conor McDavid. You know, number one... It just makes sense. I had him at number one just a few weeks back, and I think he's been somewhat even better recently as well. He just continues to be a god on skates, and that is just what Connor McDavid is. In 29 games, Connor McDavid has casually put up 19 goals, 32 assists for 51 points, just 1.8 above Leon Dreisaitl. You know, just another few games for Leon and Connor, just absolutely being amazing together. And the duo should be in the hard running. You have guys like Nathan McKinnon and the duo in Boston as well to contend with, but Connor McDavid to me has been the number one guy. He, I don't know if he'd be my MVP vote, but again, he is my vote for the best overall player. And that's been that way for quite a few years now. To me, he is the best player in the NHL, and once again, he is proving that. But that is my top 10 for today. Let me know your guys' thoughts down those comments down below on this video. What you guys agree and disagree with. Let me know also who you see as the best players so far this season. And of course, one last thing. Let me know if you guys want to see me continue this thing every single month. Maybe do it like my mock drafts where I have it at the beginning of every single month and do a new run, kind of like a monthly series. Let me know if you guys want to see that continue. And let me know all your thoughts on the rankings themselves. But if you guys want some more grab videos just like this one, y'all should click the first ranking video where I discuss the top 10 best NHL players just a few weeks back. But that'll be it for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell notification bell if you guys haven't already. Comment down below your thoughts on the ranking, what you agree and disagree with. Make sure you're sharing this video with your friends. We just hit 8.8K subscribers, almost at 10K, boys. Get the crowd nation out there. I'm Nathan, and I'll see y'all next video or stream. And my gosh, I cannot wait to put off the Sabres hat because it's cutting off circulation from my brain. Goodbye.